Hey, 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 what's up, champions? Gediminas here. Hope you guys are doing fantastically well. Welcome to Financial Freedom TV. And today I wanted to talk what to do when you're in challenging situations in life, when you're communicating with other people, maybe when you're getting some haters or some rude people or some people who are uh, a little bit toxic or obnoxious. How should you react and what should you do? So if you're watching a replay of this video, please do me a massive favor and stick hashtag replay into the comments. If you're brand new, if you're watching one of my videos for the first time, please do say new in the comments as well and if you get value from this video if you think somebody else might find it interesting then feel free to share it maybe somebody else will get some value too so uh, the title of this video is kill them with kindness right and what does that mean well, uh, in life or in business, inevitably, you're going to run into some toxic people, into some haters, into some angry people who will try to, uh, you know, maybe write some negative comments or criticize you or say something bad to your face, etc. And when you are exposed to these types of situations, when you when you exposed to these types of people, there's always temptation to respond in the same way. So if somebody is rude with you, you want to be rude with them back. If somebody's criticizing you, you want to criticize them back, etc. But by doing that, you only lower yourself to their level, right? You become the same. If they shout at you and you shout back, you're the same. If they say something nasty to you and you say something nasty back, then you're the same, right? And sometimes, even uh, if you're not going to say something nasty, you may be tempted to uh, to start explaining yourself to these people or justifying yourself or uh, somehow uh, proving yourself to those people who criticize you or mock you or whatever. And again, as soon as you do that, you reduce yourself to their level because now you're dancing to their tune, right? They're playing a tune and you're dancing for them, right? And I would recommend never to dance with it for anybody, right? You are your own person and you set your own, um, you know, standards and you set your own life, right? So what should you do when somebody's criticizing you, when somebody's using guilt on you, when somebody's being obnoxious or toxic for you? Well, the answer is in the title. Kill them with kindness. You see, there's nothing that will drive these people more crazy than when you respond to their negativity with positivity with love, with just ignoring them, just not even paying attention to them. That's the worst thing for them because what do they expect? They expect to get a reaction out of you. They expect to upset you, to throw you off course. And when you're calm, when you're collected, when you smile or you, when you just ignore them altogether, it drives them mad, right? But more importantly than driving them mad, which is not your goal anyway, is that it keeps your inner peace in place. It keeps you calm and collected. Because as soon as you start spending your energy and time thinking about the haters, thinking about the critics, thinking about the toxic, negative people in your life, that's wasted energy. That's wasted time. Because you could have used that energy to do something positive, to spend time with your kids, to watch a good movie, to go do something for your business, etc. You know what I mean? So it's a wasted energy anyway. So kill them with kindness. Be nice and good to everybody. Don't lower yourself to their level. Always remain diplomatic. Even if you think about it, you know, and you want to just say something really, really bad, just don't. Just don't. Because you'll always be sorry you did. Just keep yourself calm and collected. Give them kindness or ignore them altogether, and you'll see they're either going to disappear or they're going to change, sometimes even apologize to you for their behavior. So that's the tip for today, my friends. Hope you got value. If you did, feel free to share it. Love you all. Thanks for jumping on. Appreciate each and every one of you. Have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll see you at the top. Bye for now. Cheers.